Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Wellness Tuesday, Tuesday's videos. I don't know. You know, it feels like a Monday, let's be honest. Uh, so today we're talking about energy. Speaking of Mondays and energy, uh, we're talking all about energy. The, you know, it's a common question we get and we ask a lot of people when they come into the offices, how's your energy? And a lot of times we get, well, I don't have an e enough energy. I wish I had more. I'm always tired. Well, this week <clears throat> we put together the four keys to sustaining energy all day. And I'll bet you guys could guess a couple of them that are out in this pamphlet. The hardest thing is not knowing what they are. It's actually holding yourself accountable to doing them. Um, which, by the way, we have opportunities for you, which I'll talk to you about in a minute, on things that you can do that. But sustaining energy is feeling your body right. What did you have for breakfast? Did you even eat breakfast? And then you wonder why this system isn't going the way you want it to, why I don't have enough energy, I'm crashing, I need more coffee, I'm crashing, I need more coffee or more sugar, and you do this roller coaster throughout the day. So food is a very big, huge piece of what you put into your body is what it's going to get out of it, right? I drive a vehicle that has gas. If I put diesel into it, what's going to happen? You're right. It's not going to run right. So you can't do that to your body and expect the same thing. The next is prioritizing your sleep schedule. You need to try your hardest to get seven to eight hours of sleep, at least six hours of sleep. So set your schedule so you can go to bed at enough time. So when you get up, you have more energy. You're getting much better sleep, more restful sleep because you're fueling your body right throughout the day. Next is exercise. When we move, we create energy within our body. We create Muscles create more energy, the human, the human body creates more energy when we're exercising. When we have high energy, exercise is the key to that component. So move your body more. And then take supplements. We love food, we want food to be first, but when you can't get all the right ingredients in your food, for instance, vitamin D, we say supplement that. Omega-3 fatty acids, fish oils, we say supplement. There's a handful of things we're just not gonna get enough nutrients in our day-to-day -day living that we need to supplement for. Which brings me to the two things that we have going on this month that can help you. One is our detox. We're doing a 10 day detox. It starts next Monday. If you wanna get involved in that, we gotta get that ordered ASAP because of the supplements need to get here so you can start that. We have a plan. We have what you're supposed to do every single day throughout the 10 days. It's all written out, all ready to go for you. Call the front desk, get that scheduled. Number two is our supplement sale day, which happens to be on chiropractic's birthday, the 18th. So. We're gonna have some trivia, we're gonna have some fun. Chiropractic's birthday on the 18th, meaning that 1895 when chiropractor was born by D.D. Palmer, there's a whole story around it. I won't bore with you today, but ask your doctor about it. In fact, see if Dr. Preston and Dr. Cole know their history. Ask them when you're in, in the next few weeks, a whole month of September, to tell you when was chiropractic born, who started it, who founded it, and the entire history around it. But until then, grab your pamphlet, let's increase the energy in September, we're back to school, ready, set, go.